snip snip on slow slow Blue Converse, nigga. Rich rolling from the dirt. Just banging my turf like Snoop did. Same color rag, just a new. Yo, Why is the Academy so important to you? Uh, well, I mean, this is where I uh, kind of. Uh, master my craft, you know, practicing every, every day, uh, you know, um, and the hours that I put in, kind of like, mastering my haircuts and stuff like that. So this is really special to me because it's, uh, this is where uh, I spend a lot of uh, my time, daily basis, you know. So, I mean, it's like a, you know, it's like a scientist in a lab, bro, and making that best, you know, formula or whatnot, you know. So, yeah, it's special for me. That's like a stopping ground, you know? So, why is the school special for you? Let's take a look again at everybody here, you know what I'm saying? We all came here to school as strangers, worked together, which led us to become friends, you know what I'm saying? That eventually led to a bond that I could call them family now, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the one thing that I take here, is just the camaraderie. Um, I mean, we built something, the, the foundation that we built here is so special. Like, we, we wanna motivate the next generation here, the barbers, the next generation of students, to, to go and, and, and get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, we set the blueprint here for y'all, and and hopefully, like, I, I know y'all y'all gonna succeed later, you know what I'm saying? You guys are gonna add to the blueprint. Hey man, sh sh share a special moment that you had here, babe. Um, I got a bunch of moments out here in the academy, but uh, it's just a camaraderie with all the barbers for me. Um, every day you go in, learn something new, uh, catch a vibe with your classmates, your instructors, your teachers, um, and even your clients. Um, but yeah, that, those are special moments for me all the time. Well, first day, when I first walked in, man, everyone was hella cool. You know, everyone was open. Right when I got to it, um, I didn't know what to do, but everyone was willing to share a piece of education. As I was cutting, everyone had their two cents, and little by little, as the time went on, I started to gain more and more knowledge and started to get better. So that's what I hold on to is my first day, because it was really impactful. I met cool folks, cool educators, and as the time went on, I just got better doing cuts. So that's what I remember. When I first started out um, trying to find the right barber school for me, uh, there was just something, something about the academy, man. Uh, I walked in there and there was nothing but a good vibe. Uh, definitely, it's affected us these past four months by, by letting us not have, have a job. Uh, or as students, we're, we're not able to get our L's any faster. Uh, so I definitely put everything on a hold, uh, put our craft on a hold. Uh, I think, I think as not 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 as a school, but definitely as a community, it has brought us all together, uh, especially in like different ways, like like Menspire, um, uh, Babylis, Andis, giving us all a free education online has definitely brought us all together as a community. <laughs> This is where we come and get our snacks, our sandwiches, and our coffee. It's a really good spot to go to usually when we're hungry. We gotta stay up. <laughs> Something to take from being at the academy would be uh, always give it back to the community. Um, I feel like ever since we started, uh, we've been doing a lot of volunteer work uh, with the youth, especially. Uh, and being at the academy with our Barber Brothers, uh, we've been able to volunteer our work um, on almost like a, shoot, I'd say monthly, every other month, I felt like we were doing something for the community. So that's something I always take uh, once I get out of here. It's always giving back to the community. So my expectations from first walking into the academy compared to what it is for me now is everything I expected it to be. 
because prior to enrolling into the academy, I was already keeping up with them through Instagram and all that, so I knew what they were about. And first walking in, right off the bat, you feel the good vibes, you see one another helping each other, you're learning and teaching one another, and now that I'm a part of it, I'm truly grateful. And it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It's even, it's even, it's even better. So, Demo, how was your instructor Sylvia and Josh impacted you? Well, uh, ever since I met Josh, uh, he's always been chill with me, and he's helped me like through my whole process, like learning how to cut. And uh, same with Syl. Syl's always uh, helping with the book and all the the test procedures and uh, curling and all that. So they help really well. Support plan. Take a look here. We got like a, I think it was eight or eight. Everybody here, everybody at that school inspires me to be a better barber, a better person, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I love how, how they motivate me and, and get me going every single day, you know what I'm saying? They keep me on my toes, I keep them on their toes. It's like, it's, it's a hand-in-hand -hand thing. Um, I feel like, like us as a whole, what we have to offer is definitely what I, uh, what I want us to all start doing is give back, give back to, to a lot of communities, definitely. Uh, um, another thing I want to do is I definitely want to start teaching. Uh, teaching it just gives me uh, joy, happiness, um, and also uh, uh, having, having to give people their self-confidence and uh, kind of like build their own, uh, you know, self-esteem and kind of, you know, like give them a nice haircut so that they could be proud of who they are. And I think one of the dopest demos I've seen at the school uh, would have to be Kevin Joy from Black and Gold. Uh, it was the first time I seen a full-on uh, design on one whole side of the left head, left side of the head. Uh, not only that, it was all faded on one side and shaded in between all the designs. So I thought that was pretty dope as being being able to see it up front. I'm saying to be a part of it, it's just a whole togetherness and it's a whole team it's a whole team it's a brotherhood you know what i'm saying you create bonds with these people i'm surrounded daily by individuals who share the same passion and goal as me constantly motivating each other and pushing each other to our full potential and it's a beautiful thing to be a part of and it's a very uplifting and, and rewarding feeling to be a part of this um at the academy we all eat you know what i'm saying we all we all want each other to win we all want each other to eat so it's just a beautiful thing, and I'm proud to be representing the Academy. The way Jason and Anthony have been impactful in my life is by accepting me to be at this school. Uh, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be starting on this career that I'm embarking on. Uh, it's a big change in my life because I was stuck to corporate world, you know, working jobs, and I just wasn't happy until I found this, uh, this career choice. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm very thankful for them both, and I just uh, wish them the best, and uh, God bless them. Shout out, Aunt Butch, you know, you guys kind of uh, uh, gave us the opportunity of uh, becoming, uh, you know, a better person uh, in and out of, you know, Barber College. Uh, and kind of, you know, thank you. Shout out Adam Butch for always taking the time, like when I didn't know how to cut, for always teaching me and taking the time. And thank you. Shout out Anthony and Jason, you know what I'm saying? Butch, uh, for helping build this foundation that we got here, you know what I'm saying? The, the way that y'all set it up here, especially, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys have changed the game of what you guys are doing in this barber college. And it's, it's, it's crazy, like, it's, it's, you got to change in the game. Shout out Ant, but um, appreciate you guys welcoming, welcoming me with open arms. Um, just kind of guided me in this whole journey, this whole process. I feel like this is the perfect time to shoot this documentary, you know what I'm saying? While, while we have all this art on the wall right now during COVID, because I feel like like we're, we're, the only, we're the first class of COVID being shut down for four months, you know what I'm saying? You're not ever gonna see it again like this. I hope not. Uh, future students, you know what I'm saying? This is what we had to go through during COVID. I mean, hopefully you guys don't gotta go through it either. We can't wait to get back in there, you know what I'm saying? 
Foundation solid, let's take flight. Ay.